gentleman is now recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I reserve. The gentleman from New Jersey is recognized. Madam Speaker, I now uh, yield one minute to the gentleman from Oregon, the uh, also a member of our Energy and Commerce Committee, Mr. Schrader. The gentleman from Oregon is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise today in support of the Affordable Insulin Now Act. The bill before us today will finally deliver the financial relief Oregonians whose lives depend on insulin so desperately need. By capping the cost to no more than $35 a month in Medicare Part D and commercial insurance, Congress is making it clear that no one should have to cut back, ration, or skip doses of life-saving medication. I'm proud that this policy is a central tenant of my own drug pricing bill that I've worked on with leadership, secured in the House, and passed in the Build Back Better bill. We need to rein in all drug price prescriptions. That's why it's important to negotiate drug prices without stifling innovation like we do in our bill, limit the price increases of everyday drugs to the price of inflation, and perhaps more importantly, limit out-of-pocket costs to seniors to $2,000 or less. And I yield back.